Hello fellow Rosarians. Thank you for joining me. I have two boxes that arrived today, so I'm going to break it into two different videos. It is really windy today, and I'm going to have my husband at the end of this video take you down to the water to show you what it looks like when we've got a windy day. It's crazy. So let's see. Uh, for our unboxing today, we are unboxing from and I'm interested in seeing what the quality of the roses are. I'm sure that they're great, but let's check them out. Um, are you going to talk to the same person when you call? There's a group of people that are in the office. It's a small group, so it's hit or miss, but uh, you will be talking to the same people when you call. Is it a small business? No, but they were really nice when I called and they answered all of my questions and they answered right away. Currently on their website, they have 29 roses, and I believe that they're all on Dr. Huey Rootstock. The website was really easy to use and nothing noteworthy about that. Uh, with their warranty, um, you need to let them know within 48 hours of receiving the roses if you have any issues that, um, that anything's dead, damaged, whatever. Uh, but then you've got 90 days to watch and make sure that it flushes out and then let them know if you have any issues. What am I expecting in this order? I'm expecting three roses. Uh, they're going to be Dr. Huey, as I mentioned, and I wanted to get into drift roses. I went down to see one of my friends. Oh! <laughs> I went down to see one of my friends in Florida, and they had drift roses, and they were just beautiful. So I'm looking for something at the front of the border, and I got a couple of different colors to try. These are grade one. I'm guessing, you know, it didn't specify anywhere on the site that I could see. Okay, so what are we looking for? We are hoping that it is in a sealed bag so that it doesn't dry out in shipment. We are looking to make sure that they're bright green canes. Uh, we've seen some canes this season that are darker in color, which would indicate in all likelihood they have been in storage, uh, cold storage for a long time. So we're hoping for bright green canes. They might be fleshing out with some beds. Uh, those canes need to be firm. Uh, the crown needs to be firm. Uh, so nothing should indicate that there's any kind of rot. And then we want to take a quick look at those roots and make sure that the roots look healthy. So looking here, I am off to a good start. We have all of our roses in a little baggy. In fact, let's see. Okay. Oh, they're all in individual bags. Well, that's fun. I, that is the first time I've seen that. So individual bags. And let's see. I've got a directions here, a thank you, and how to plant roses. So let's open this up. So if you don't know what a grade one rose is, I've done a video on that. And it's simply a rose that has three canes the size of a pencil. And so they have stapled to the front of the bag the uh, little tag here that tells us everything about the rose. So I'm going to pull that off so that I can save that. I'm seeing that these have moisture in them. So that's awesome. They did not get dried out in shipment. Let's pull this baby out. There must be a better way. <laughs> People are going to want me to have gloves here. All right, so uh, I definitely have three canes that are the size of a pencil, and it's starting to flush out here with some new growth. It's bright green in color, so across the board right now, I am very happy with everything that we see here. Um, so I have a concern, and I'm going to talk to um, Dr. Mark Windham. He did a, a presentation for us just this week on crown gall, and he said that a crown gall is something that looks cauliflower, and it is just going to be on one side of a cane. And this growth is just on one side of the cane. Let me get closer. So see that? So, um, until I hear back from him uh, to confirm that, this will not be going in the same water with um, the other ones to soak. But this is really awesome that the bags were are separate, so I don't have to worry about these other roses being infected. But let's go ahead and sit that one aside now and check out this rose. This one is looking larger. This is a peach drift. The one that we just opened was a coral drift. So let's look at this one now. I want to be delicate, 
and not break these new canes that are flushing. <laughs> this one is much larger. Okay, so looking at this rose here, I do see that it has the advantageous grow, uh, roots here. Do you see the white uh, root there? I see the, uh, the little growths here uh, on the canes, and those are advantageous roots. So everything here looks good. And I love that the canes haven't been totally stripped down like some of the other vendors that we've looked at. So everything is looking A-OK -okay on this rose. So this is Apricot Drift. So this one is also three canes the size of the pencil, so we look good here. I'm going to go ahead and take off. Can you see these little tiny, tiny um, when I prune it out, I will take that off and one of them has die back, but that's not a big deal. I'm looking at the crown. Everything is firm. It's a nice bright, bright color. And look at, look at it flushing out. This is so fun to look at. I mean, it is really happy. So now I'm looking at the, the roots. So this one here also has a similar growth to uh, the last one that we looked at. So let's talk about the, uh, the pricing really quick. So uh, the roses were $32 a piece. If we buy five roses, and that's what we're doing for all of the vendors this year to make sure that we take into account any discounts that are available so that we can do that true analysis of what it's gonna cost us for the roses. If we buy five roses at $32, it's going to be $160. They charge tax, so my total came to $170.53. We'll take the tax out so that everybody can calculate that separately for themselves. And then, then if we look at the total rack and stack now compared to everybody else that we've unboxed, Witherspoon is the most cost effective right now at $135. Greenhouse at 145, at 160, and then 165 for Palatine. So thanks so much for joining me. If you want to hang around for the next video, I'm going to be unboxing from Regan. I'll see you in the next one.